Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. We're going to be discussing the recent wall shell as we reinvest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies after five years of growth in this episode. What is HSBC looking at here? It is intriguing to consider tokenizing gold. Here we are discussing clarity. Additionally, the first video of the day did not cover that white paper's topics, which include regulatory policy, Ripple, and the things they are looking at and how they may be beneficial. All right, then, let's get right down to business. A total of 1 trillion 673 billion bitcoins, a 2.3% increase, boosted the cryptocurrency market cap. Arriving at a total of 43,470,800 Ethereum, with a price tag of $2,042. Both USDC and USDD are coming in at 1.28%, with XRP paying out at $0.58 cents to a million. It has shown some improvement on the hourly chart and is up 3% in the past 24 hours. Exactly what we mean when we say men cost $0.59 and $0.60, cents, respectively. That is the subsequent figure that will be examined. We can discuss the 66 cent to 70 cent range on XRP once we hold above that. Prepare for it. The newsletter for January is almost ready to be released, so there's no need to fret if you happen to miss today's first video. Reach out to Ripple Van Winkle for free. Crypto guidance at no cost, please enter your email address to join our newsletter. We will be discussing market conditions and a cryptocurrency that I am quite positive on as we enter the bull run that is happening this year. The newsletter will be released early next week. Analysts think a 100 billion cryptocurrency market wash was typical. I'm on board. Hey, we already discussed this. The report also claims that the recent upswing in the highly leveraged digital asset markets is a sign of a healthy correction. On long, everyone and their mother were. Now that the longs have been gone, we may return to our previous position as observers. This adjustment was beneficial. I promise you, we will return next week, and you will forget about this whole liquidation business. We will return to our original position. Experts are still expecting a slew of Bitcoin ETF approvals by January 10, the report adds, despite the fall. In less than 24 hours, 100 billion cryptomarks have disappeared. Just so you are aware, as time went on, everyone relaxed. They aim to keep you from feeling at ease in this. You must understand this, I have no idea how long you have all been involved in the cryptocurrency market. My tenure here began in 2017. When it seems like everyone in the crypto world and on crypto Twitter is getting comfortable and predicting a bull run, you would think that liquidations are on the horizon. This is something you are aware of. It's 2017 and I've been I am aware of that. You have your liquidation, what will happen next? Well, bitcoins are expected to retrace 48 to 50,000 now. I promise you that once we reach those price levels again, everyone will forget about what happened. Never forget that big names in finance are betting big on bitcoin in 2024. By 2024, according to these financial organizations, Bitcoin will have grown significantly, with Masari expecting to see the $600,000 Bitcoin Vanek, $275,000, and so on. The organization anticipates a 100,000 by Sari's analysts, who first emphasize Bitcoin's dominance and resiliency before drawing comparisons to the early success of gold ETFs and the East, among other things. Group centers on Bitcoin's half-yearly price fluctuations, They've established a more cautious goal of roughly $80,000 for Bitcoin, based on the cryptocurrency's outperformance relative to major assets and projected ETF effect in 2023. We are primarily concerned with Bitwise and other practical considerations. In my opinion, 101.25 could be a blow-off before we reach 150, but we won't stay there for very long. $620,000 without a shot. 275 total, not a single shot, it will not transpire. Those figures can only materialize if institutional investors shift their funds from more conventional markets to the cryptocurrency space. I still don't think we've arrived. Although I do not anticipate a market cap of 60275 cryptocurrencies, 
I do anticipate a total market size of $4 to $7 trillion. Listen, I may have been mistaken. I really hope I'm completely mistaken. How about we reach 600000 in Bitcoin? If that occurs, we'll be considering a $20 XRP. I'd be thrilled to see that $20 XRP position materialize. Matrix Report clients prepared this current report, which was followed by Bitcoin ETF, however the media's widespread coverage was not on Matrix Port's side and was beyond their control. That is the wording of the founder. Additionally, I agree with him that the SEC's approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF will bring in new investments in the cryptocurrency. Soon, much-needed capital will flood into the cryptocurrency market through exchange-traded funds. Currently, there is no fresh capital available to us in this area. Bitcoin keeps getting pumped, altcoins keep getting pumped, he stands on the sidelines, waits for a downturn, and then Bitcoin gets pumped again. This is going to pump out more oil, but until new funds join the market, we will remain mired in the same old statistics. New funding is on the way, and we can't move forward without it. Remember this guy? He posted an entire discussion about Ripple and XRP and was very confused and incorrect about a lot of things. Even if it's a controversial opinion, he predicted that Bitcoin will be the most successful asset class in the next five years. He really is yours, he's that is incorrect. I'll let you know immediately. We may see this in the current price of 43, even if I say we do it twice, we always end up doing something new. Hermia secures us a spot in an 86. From cycle to cycle, XRP will beat Bitcoin. If XRP can reach $1.20, it will reclaim its previous all-time high. It is undeniable. The source of the clown is a mystery to me, guys. The rock he emerged from, however, must return. The DeVos DJPH wow, I'm fascinated by this. Please stick with me here. HSBC introduces tokenized gold platform. Therefore, HSBC, tokenize gold. Soon, Matechko will be meeting with representatives from HSBC to discuss tokenized securities. Ripple owns Matechko, that much is clear. Tokenized gold is the latest area they're exploring. Matechko Ripple and HSBC are involved in something. Whatever you call it, Ripple is the owner of the company. In fact, you could say that HSBC is collaborating with Ripple. You may also state that HSBC is collaborating with Mateo. But in the end, they're collaborating with Ripple, and HSBC is cooking up something enormous. Believe me when I say that Mr. Universe said this, and he was absolutely right. Choose the cryptocurrency that has the most clear legal standing from this list. Only one of them is red. Is that clear? Am I correct? The red cryptocurrency is the only one with clear legal status. It is beyond my comprehension. Attention, everyone, it is completely illogical. However, XRP will ultimately surpass all of these assets due to its clear legal standing. And that is the market's omission. But XRP will stand out in the coming days and weeks when laws are finalized and the cryptocurrency markets are severely regulated. A white paper on a policy framework for blockchain and digital assets in Korea is being worked on by Ripple. You may observe X, a proprietary cryptocurrency developed by GBC. Korea, which is a blockchain firm. GMAT is the first of its kind, and it allows smart small cap retail investors and other large scale investors to join. Quite intriguing. So, a South Korean blockchain firm is putting out an acquisition white paper and ripples are implicated. 2017 was Are you familiar with the people that spearheaded the bull run? Instead, XRP originated in South Korea. The short-term crypto market is very volatile, so keep a watch on it. Here to make money from of seeing. Retesting slightly at 55 cents seems to be the norm, according to it. There it is. The retest was accomplished. As we draw near the 59 to 60 cent level, we are retracing our steps. We return to the live coin watch since I am now quite competent. At its lowest point. The 100 billion dollars that were extracted from these markets had to happen, and you can see that competence in my Twitter message pinned to Bitcoin. It was good for you. 
I hate it. They were all over the moon, and it hurts. It brought them down to earth and helped them level their minds. It was necessary, though. That was it. The end. The return of Bitcoin to the $40,000 to $48,000 area will make it seem like this never transpired. Once XRP returns to that area, we'll maintain a steady price of 60 to 70 cents. While I was on my Discord yesterday, someone mentioned that XRP actually bottomed out on KuCoin at about 4,040 cents in touch, so I'm quite sure the bottom was in. You have my word that I would put all my eggs in one basket if I woke up and found XRP back in the 47 region, I am well aware of where this market is headed. Going from 50 cents to its all-time high, XRP is a meteoric rise. Here, we're talking about a six-fold return on investment. That is going to transpire, the maximum allowed speed is preset. Once we surpass the all-time high for XRP price discovery, the excitement will start. Since 2017, there has been no price discovery or XRP. It has been far too long, everyone. Plus, everything is crystal clear now. Institutional investors will pour money into XRP this year due to its transparency. The price discovery process will be exciting. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later. Bye.